I've been interested in art ever since I was a child and it has always been my passion. Mondly art is always about raising awareness about social contentious issues. That is why I decided to also study a Bachelor of Education at the University of Johannesburg. How I brought in art into the subject matter that I'm teaching at school, I would use, for example, uh, one of my artworks that I've created and project it on a screen and teach the learners about that and how that influences what the government prescribed me to teach. So that is where art and education comes in. After 10 years within the education sector, 2018 I left and created Monthly Art full time. Well, COVID, most artists, we struggled. Ngulu showed me his power. I sold more Monthly Art during level 4 and level 3 uh, lockdown. Like I made more money during level 3 and level 4 lockdown, which actually pushed me to create more. The highlight, contrary to the good ones, I would say I should have went last year to the Venus Benial Art Art Exhibition, I couldn't. Uh, luckily though, um, I was exhibiting in India. It took place virtually. The Eco Awareness Gallery approached me and I was the only visual artist from the country selected amongst everyone else in the world. The artwork was about using recycled uh, material uh, for nature conservation. So I used uh, my favorite animals, which are the rhino and the, the African elephant. So those are the two most poached uh, animals. So I created um, a, a monthly art piece whereby I have the elephant holding the, the rhino horn with its trunk. But I used banknotes for the elephant tusks and the rhino horn. So that those banknotes that I used there are a metaphor um, for the value that humans put on these uh, beautiful animals. Right now, I'm working on uh, cracking the overseas market. Uh, bear in mind that I'm not represented by an art gallery or whatever, I'm one man show. I'm looking at uh, USA, Germany, so on and so forth. So other than that, locally, I'm still yet working on establishing the Monty Art Hub, which is going to be an art hub for the youth in the bar.